So, after last week was such an amazing week in terms of earnings, guess what? We got another pretty good week coming up here. Um, some Definitely some really cool stocks that you might want to take a look at. It's a full week, though. It is packed. Um, this is just prime uh, earnings season, so this is just a packed week full of plenty, plenty to talk about. Um, we're going to hope that maybe the market will be happy with these earnings, because clearly last week's amazing earnings weren't good enough. We're going to see if it's going to be okay with this week's earnings. Let's get right into it, see what uh, we have coming up that's pretty exciting. So, before open on Monday, we have Cisco. Not the, um, well, you know, it's Cisco. You know Cisco. Anyways, um, nothing super exciting there. Um, we have ON Semiconductor. Interesting one to look at because the semiconductor field is very interesting right now after Western Digital. Um, put up a very good earnings so it's really a market that this, those stocks have really been starting to go on the uptrend after a pretty rough 2019 so it'll be interesting to look at what they do and what they post we have checkpoint asbury asbury i don't like saying that i really don't want to say that again um catalant we have saya uh aecom uh, DSP Group, NAPCO. Alrighty. Exciting. Before open, I don't know if there's anything super exciting. Monday before open, if you have one of those stocks, well, I hope I hope you the best of luck, but nothing super exciting. I just want to see how the semiconductor rolls because it could have a, a decent impact because I do own uh, Micron shares, as you might know. So After close, well, guess what? Um, we have good old Alphabet and or uh, you'll know them as Google. Alphabet's the parent company, but you know them as Google. Um, huge, 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 huge. This is just big. I mean, I don't know what else you want. Google's going to ideally going to follow the route of an Apple and an Amazon and post an absolute banger of earnings because this is a company that is just a staple in the market right now. If it's doing well, it should be able to help bring this market up, even though Amazon did well, Apple did well. And those didn't bring the market up. But I think Alphabet or Google really can bring this market up this week. If they start the week off with a banger of earnings, it could be really setting a good tone for us, especially recovering from um, Friday's nightmare, nightmarish end. We have NXP, uh, Leggett, and Platt. I don't know what all they make. Um, I know for a fact that they certainly make um, bed frames. Uh, do they? I don't know. I know the name so well, but I can't think of what they produce. But um, it's interesting. i got to look into them. Hexel, um, Alexandria. Yeah, I don't know anyone named Alexandria. I do, actually. Never mind. We have Fabrinet. Um, That's right. Company that you act like I could possibly know the name. No chance. Um, we got Delta. <clears throat> Not the exciting Delta. Um... We have an unknown, uh, it's Beacon Roofing Supply. I don't know if we really care about them that much, but maybe they have something exciting going on. Who knows? Um, they are on the most anticipated earnings list, so we'll see how they do. We have American Financial, which could be a good one to look at as well. For Tuesday, let's go right for it. Before open, we have Centene. Sirius XM, everyone knows Sirius XM because all you do is every time you buy a vehicle, they're going to be, hey, come to Sirius XM, and then they charge you a monthly fee, and then they auto -re renew you for it, and it's impossible to cancel the auto renewal, and they keep charging you for it, and it's Sirius XM, baby, let's go. Um, regardless, still, the stock's been, I, I, I used to watch the stock, but I have not um, in the recent, recent history at least. We have Sony could be very interesting for Sony. Obviously, they're going to have big announcements in terms of the PS5 that they will be releasing. There's going to be a lot to do with that. Um, they really need a pretty interesting quarter just because of the fact that Nintendo's really been crushing them in terms of like console sales. Nintendo's been crushing them, but with Nintendo announcing they're not releasing a new Switch, Sony might be able to come out and say, hey, we're releasing you know, the PS5. PlayStation VR 2, something of the matter. I mean, they could really, really make a nice earnings report here just by topping off with good numbers and topping off some just good, good stuff. We have BP, uh, Lumentum, ConocoPhillips. 
uh, L3 Harris McKesson. So obviously you see there's a couple different um, gas and oil companies you might want to take a look at. Um, could be big for the market. Just depending on obviously with our the slight Middle East crisis that there was for a little bit. It would be interesting to see how those affected these quarters. If these companies ended up paying had to paying more for you know oil and gas for that time being if it could affect their profit who knows we'll entirely see or if they went off entirely reserves that could be fine for them as well um, and we have also Royal Caribbean Cruises which to be fair I think um, Royal Caribbean Cruises is gonna be slightly potentially screwed I don't want to say it negatively but I just think with all the fear of this coronavirus right now, I think they're probably going to have to be shutting down some of their um, trips. I just think they will. And I think they're going to announce it, and it's going to be pretty much a damper on the stock. It's going to be hitting it hard. I don't want to be negative, though. Um, I'm a huge fan of, uh, or at least I was, uh, about a year ago. I was thinking, you know what? People are getting a lot more money to their name, a lot more vacations. They're just every Everyone's making more money. These type of companies, these leisure companies, um, these splurging, uh, luxury type companies, they might be worth investing in. But right now, ah, it's rough. It's rough stuff. The market's rough. You just never know anymore. Um, so Tuesday after close, we have oh, lovely Disney. And this is going to be the first quarter that they're reporting numbers for Disney+. Plus. It's going to be insane. Um, they should be reporting the number of total users. And if they do, that is pretty much, in my opinion, going to dictate this stock going up or down. I am expecting them to actually absolutely devastate the 10 million estimate out of the water. I mean, I think we're looking closer to 30 million people already signed up for Disney Plus at this point. So I don't think um, that's going to be an issue. If they have a great subscriber growth from the first quarter, this stock is going to continue to go up, in my opinion. If they don't meet their expectations and they don't give out uh, good guidance for it, I think the stock will go down. Um, Disney turned in from a stock that was stagnant for five years into a all of a sudden just rapid growth. And it's all because of Disney Plus, and that's really what's going to be driving this company. So those are the numbers that investors are going to be looking at for Disney. All right, we have Snap. Um, Snap is a just a kind of garbage company, but... There, that's the stock is an interesting one. It's very volatile, very volatile. I'm not a huge fan of the the stock itself, just because you know I'm a low volatility guy, so I usually tend to stay away from it. Um, we got Ford Motor Company after them. Ford could be big again after a huge Tesla earnings. Ford's been reporting a lot of negative, um, negative, negative, negative. It's been sales down. All which way, especially China. They've been really hurting in China quite a bit. Um, uh, naturally, we're going to hear a lot about their plans for electric vehicles. I know they have, uh, obviously, the Mustang Mach-E. It'll be interesting to see if they decide to release any sort of pre-purchasing numbers in terms of that. Uh, if they do, could be big. Uh, if they find out that there was a good demand, if they release anything about the demand for the Mach-E, I think it could be huge for this company. I think they're going to be pretty well, they're going to have to during the conference call mention um, the electric Ford F-150 that they plan on making. That could be big for investors. Overall, I don't know if it's going to be a great quarter in terms of revenue, though. I do think it's going to be a decrease year over year, no doubt. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what they do um, and how that uh, EPS line looks. So I'm interested to watch Ford Motor, obviously, because I have quite a few shares of them really just for the dividend, so I don't necessarily care about the stock price that much, but if it went up, I wouldn't be upset, I'm just saying. We got Chipotle. I love Chipotle. That's a pretty good impression, wasn't it? I don't know about you, but I think it was. Um, what do we got to talk about Chipotle? I mean, everyone loves to eat at Chipotle. There's no, no doubt about it. Uh, Chipotle is one of the I would say hotter stocks. I mean, no doubt right now. Um, just in the past year, this thing was up like upwards of 60%, I believe. Chipotle is a hot, hot, hot stock, and there's no denying it. 
um, hot, unlike the food that they contain. But it is a stock that I also consider to be quite overvalued uh, for a company of its type. So will the price go back down to what we expect it to go to after these earnings? It'll be interesting to look at. Um, I'm not the kind of guy who usually likes to get messed with options, but maybe a put option might be decent for Chipotle. What can I say? Um, I don't want to be too negative, though, so we'll keep positive. Keep positive. We're not say I'm not suggesting anything with options, okay? But Chipotle will be an interesting one to look at. We have Gillette Sciences. Gillette? I don't actually know how to pronounce it, but I always call it Gillette. Uh, stock I own, actually, so uh, they've been pretty hammered over the past year. It'll be interesting to see them maybe get some good data revolve in, uh, regarding their, um, pretty much with these, these biopharmacy companies, people are going to be looking, firstly, obviously, at their top drug, the number one drug that they sell that's no, most known by them. That's what they want to look at, but really it's top three. The top three drugs they're selling, that's what investors are really going to be looking at, so we'll see if they did a good good job on that. We'll see. We have Boot Barn. Boot Barn. I don't care. I don't. I don't wear boots. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not country enough to wear boots. I guess I'm too much of a city folk. I guess, but we'll see. We have microchip match again. I mean, there's a lot of interesting ones because match obviously with Facebook's um, new dating service out. It'll be interesting to see how Match does, if it actually had any impact over this quarter, because it's a full quarter of them facing Facebook's um, dating service. Is there going to be a difference in terms of revenue from Match, or are we going to see just a normal business-as-usual form? It'll be interesting to look at that. Um, there's KLA, Pfizer, Fizzerv, not sure. Um, Wednesday before open, huge, um, huge time for Spotify. Going to be excited to look at Spotify because uh, this is also an extremely hot stock. It is insane. Um, see if they went ahead. Obviously, with Spotify, it's all about user growth. That's really the goal. Same thing with a company like Netflix. That's what they look for is user growth. They're not really going to care about the profitability as much. It's all about user growth. There's Merck. Merck. I, I can't ever pronounce that right. Um, GM, another interesting one to look at for automobiles. Because of the recent strike, it'll be interesting to see what happens with GM. Boston Scientific, Scientific, what is wrong with me? Um, Humana, there is the uh, Carlisle Group, okay, eh, Energizer, obviously most well known for their batteries. Are people buying a lot of Energizer batteries? I bet so. This is a huge quarter for Energizer too. Um, it goes along with just the Christmas spirit. Um, people are buying a bunch of toys for their children for Christmas. They buy a lot of batteries to go with the toys. So Energizer, Q4 for Energizer is a big quarter for them. Um, group, what? Automotive? Group Automotive? I don't know. Um, we have Capri and ABB. Uh, close to Antonio Brown, but not in jail. So that's why they're different. Uh, after close, we have... Qualcomm, mm-hmm, interesting one to look at again with potential 5G iPhone coming out, um, potential 5G every phone coming out. Are, is Qualcomm going to be selling a little bit more components for those new phones, especially if there's high demand? They're going to be really asked to produce more components and sell more components. So, again, they're not involved in that 5G part of it. They're more involved in the audio codex, so pretty much you're... Uh, speak to the phone type things so again they pick up your voice and pick up sounds so Qualcomm interesting one to look at for it's a it's a good environment for them right now to have a good quarter just because of the fact that um, iPhones blew out of the water you know what I mean it's just very good iPhone sales so Qualcomm could be big this this earnings definitely take a look at that Twilio hmm, interesting iRobot a stock I own I'd love to see iRobot have a really good quarter I heard, at least from data, that I that the Roomba was one of the top five items sold over the December period. I am super excited to see if that's the case. If it is, they should have a very good quarter. Um, I'm interested to see. And obviously, iRobot's a new position for me, so I want to see him just rock it. We have the lovely first earnings of Peloton since IPO. It'll be very interesting to see what in the world 
uh, Peloton does. Um, nothing really exciting going on with this IPO right now at least. So I'm interested to see if the earnings can sway it one way or the other in a time in which, you know, again, this is a good quarter for them too over the Christmas season. It's definitely an expensive um, product, a Peloton is, but did people buy them? Probably. Uh, you know how it is, living the rich life. I don't know how it is. So um, it's cool. We have Plus, Zynga, most known for, uh, you know, mobile games. That's where you really know that name from. So how's the app market doing? Good thing to look at there. Grubhub, an absolutely unprofitable piece of garbage. Um, I don't like the stock because they, there's no money to be made. We have Paycom. GoPro, also one of the biggest tragedy stocks out there. Poor thing. Um, but, again, it's another big quarter for them. This is Q4 over the Christmas season. GoPros could have sold a lot with the new Hero um, Hero Black coming out. I don't know. Is it Hero 7? Is that it? I can't remember what they just released. It's the 7, I think. But, again, it could be big to see them. I don't think the stock moves that much regardless because it's kind of a, a stock that's been neglected. It's been let down. No one really cares that much about it. It's pretty rude. Uh, we have FireEye and Thursday, another another little piece of garbage. Um, before open is Twitter. Screw Twitter. What can I say? Twitter's garbage. Um, I don't mean to be hating. That's very rude of me. Okay, I'm done. I'm done being rude. I'm done being rude for the rest of this. That's just how it is. Ah, uh, no, I'm not. I'm just kidding. There's more to come that I have to be rude about. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Twitter, I'm sorry. Um, we'll see how they do. Uh, we have Bristol Myers Squibb Company, really just known as Bristol Myers. Um, Cigna. Okay. Uh, Tyson, most known for their chicken products. Um, everyone loves a nice little Tyson frozen wing. Um, we all love to get Tyson products and then heat them up, especially with the Super Bowl coming up. Guess what? It'll already be over by the time of this. So this video is actually coming out on the day of the Super Bowl. So guess what? I already know who's going to win, and I already made a video on it. I'm just kidding, but I did just so that way I can prove to people uh, it's time stamped. And once they do win, I'll be like, hey, guess who called it? I'm kind of a genius. Well, there's Regeneron, um, a Biomed, Yum Brands, KFC, Taco Bell, all the good stuff from Yum Brands. Got to love them. Uh, Estee Lauder. That's right. The WWE is reporting earnings. I don't even understand. I mean, WWE is still hot right now. Uh, and I think they just moved networks too to Fox. I want to say. So interesting for WWE. Maybe that. I don't know if that contract gave them more money or whatever that might be. We'll see. Um, Dunkin' Donuts. Love it. Love it. Love it. I love donuts. Um, sorry, they don't go by Dunkin' Donuts anymore because people weren't buying their coffee enough, so they they just go by Dunkin' now. Okay, sorry, I was I'm being so rude. I'm sorry. We have Uber. Oh my gosh, Uber! Are you gonna lose another four billion dollars? Gosh, this company pisses me off. Who the money losers like no other? <sighs> sorry, don't mean to get heated. I hate Uber, and the stock's still somehow gonna go up even if they report freaking. 20 billion dollars lost this quarter ah, I'm heated sorry don't mean to trash on you uber but stock could move big uh, Pinterest Baidu uh, Wynn Resorts uh, pretty big with Wynn Resorts as far as this uh, coronavirus is concerned um, will be Macau over there a uh, big portion of their business I don't know we'll see if they shut anything down or give any estimates for how big this is going to affect their business because it's definitely going to affect their business because most of the business over there in Macau is going to be from people in China. So, or not most of it, but I mean a lot of their business is from um, Chinese citizens. So it'll be interesting to see how that has an effect. It'll definitely have a big effect. I think the stock could get hit pretty hard. Uh, we have Activision Blizzard. Big one to look at because um, I love Activision Blizzard. Thank you very much. So... I mean, I'm looking for a good earnings. They've had a very few good key releases. Uh, Call of Duty, uh, Modern Warfare, top of the list. Call of Duty Mobile um, on phone, 
top of the list in terms of downloads for a long while. Um, we have Blizzard's uh, World of Warcraft Original. I think they have a, this should be a very good quarter for them, in my opinion. After them, we have IQ, which I just sold out of my position, so nothing too crazy. Um, very big growth company in terms of it's, it's like the it's the Netflix of China. That's what everyone compares everything to is the the this American company of China. Really, it's just its own company, but the subscriber growth on them is insane, and the stock might not even care just because of everything going on with the Chinese economy. We have Fortnite or Fortnite. Sorry, I was you know thinking about. Uh, the world's worst game, Fortnite. I'm I'm being rude. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so rude right now. It's it's absurd how rude I am. We have Skechers, um, Take Two Interactive, another video game company, and Zendesk. Then finally Friday after uh, well, before open I should say, Avvi, another huge drug company. I'm very interested in. Um, Construction Partners Incorporated, C A E. Uh, Cameco, Cebo, Honda, Honda. See how Honda does. First Energy. We have Sogu, who apparently stole eBay's logo design. I guess because they stole the colors and everything. Can we? I mean, can eBay sue them for that? Probably. Um, and Domtar. What is Domtar? I don't even know what that means. I'm so tempted, I'm literally just going to look up Domtar right now and then end this video because it's gone on for quite a while. So, Domtar, ticker symbol UFS, is a, um, <clears throat> engages in the design, manufacturing, marketing, and distribution of fiber based products, which include communication papers, specialty, and packaging papers, and uh, absorbent hygiene products. So, they make. Do they make women's feminine product? That's disgusting. 